is an international development charity that works through volunteers. So instead of sending money or food overseas, we send uh, skilled professionals um, and some youth volunteers overseas to share their skills, work alongside local communities and help tackle poverty. Here at VSO, we are marketing um, the opportunity for people to make a difference firsthand and also to have the experience of a lifetime. When we're actually marketing VSO to volunteers, what we focus on is the difference that they can make firsthand and the benefit they can bring to the community they're working with. Because at the end of the day, we see that as the primary motivator for most of the people who volunteer with us. I think is a very important secondary motivator and a, a second point we, we, we market on is the professional level of working with VSO. You're not volunteering overseas to build a bridge or dig a well. You're using your skills professionally and it will be a professional opportunity and a professional challenge. Um, and that appeals to a lot of people who want to volunteer. We don't want to be seen to be wasting resources on huge, expensive marketing campaigns. Uh, we need to be seen as a charity who's using their finances responsibly, um, and that obviously affects the type of marketing that we're carrying out. I mean, the spend that we have on marketing uh, is negligible. Um, I guess it would be less than 1%. We need to be very targeted in reaching the right kind of professionals, um, because if we don't have the right kind of opportunities for somebody to actually do their work and make a difference with it, there's no point in us sending them out there. BSO undertakes a, an annual uh, budget and target setting process. As part of that process, the, the amount that the fundraisers um, expect to raise is uh, agreed, but so is the amount that they're allowed to spend on raising that. So, so once that's been approved, um, as with other budget holders in the organisation, they can go off and spend according to their budget, agreed budget. Um, but the idea is that they bring in the agreed incomes. We have to set realistic uh, fundraising targets because we're basing our expenditure budget on it. So there wouldn't be, there wouldn't be any point in, in um, putting in something that wasn't realistic. But we have what we call some stretch targets, which are which are higher that we, that we hope uh, the fundraisers will raise. We aim to have at least a two to one return on an event, which is, is quite hard to achieve. It does rely very heavily on having corporate sponsorship. So we plan to design the events to make them appealing to, to companies. The, the more the sort of longer returns on investment come, will come from fundraising from organisations like charitable foundations. They're actually, they exist to give money away, so that's one hurdle <laughs> that you've already kind of leapt over before you've started. And so you could see more like an eight-to-one return from, you know, because you basically all you're paying for is the salaries of the people making those applications. So each of the elements of income generation will have a different return. You have to kind of put all the building blocks together to make a sort of profitable... Um, portfolio for, for the organisation.